During the pandemic, surgeons believe that a high number of dual-phase cestamibi studies were not localizing parathyroid adenomas. An audit confirmed this. 42% of scans correctly identified adenomas. 28% of studies were uncertain and 30% failed to identify an adenoma. Successful localization allows patients to undergo focused excision rather than full neck exploration improving the patient's outcomes. To tackle this, a working group was created. The working group included physicists, radiologists, and parathyroid surgeons. During the pandemic, a three-step plan was formulated to improve patient outcomes. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious physics. The new camera had better spatial resolution, sensitivity, and more advanced iterative reconstruction algorithms. Altogether, there was an improvement in SPECT spatial resolution. This allowed us to detect smaller parathyroid adenomas. Optimizing the injected dose, reconstruction, and acquisition parameters increased the resolution and contrast. Now we were detecting even smaller parathyroid adenomas. Contrast CT significantly increases resolution. This allows reporters to visualize even smaller and sometimes multiple parathyroid adenomas. This change enables more patients to have minimally invasive surgery and to pick up multiple parathyroid adenomas which can be removed in one operation. This project has demonstrated that multiple rounds of improvement to our service has significantly improved adenoma localization. The project took place during the pandemic which made organization and implementation much harder. The success is due to the dedication of the working group and all clinical staff involved.